This is no fantasy. No careless product of wild imagination. No, my good friends. These indictments that I have brought you today, specific charges listed herein against the individuals, their acts of treason, their ultimate aim of sedition. These are matters of undeniable fact. I ask you now to pronounce judgment on those accused. On this, this mindless aberration, whose only means of expression are wanton violence and destruction. Once trusted by this council, charged with maintaining the defense of the planet itself, chief architect of this intended revolution and author of this insidious plot to establish a new order amongst us, with himself as absolute ruler. You have heard the evidence. The decision of the council will now be heard. Guilty. 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 After 1989, President Bush kept it said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. A new world order. A new world, a new world, a new world order. world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. A new world order, a new world order, it is a new world order, a new, new, new world order. The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order, uh, world order, uh, world order, uh, world order that I think all of us would like. The problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the beginning, order. The beginning of a new international order. In this new world, will have a profound impact. The forces shaping this world at this moment are so strong, and they all tend in one direction. World government is the structure necessary for global justice.
establish a new order amongst us. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause. It is a big idea. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. It is a big idea. A new world order. A new world order. It is a new world order. 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 It is a big idea. A new world order. A new world order. It is a new world order. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were, the Republicans were criticizing you, oh, what about Bohemian Grove? And then, you counter, uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before-mentioned Washington Times article where he said, I didn't run around naked like they do. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's uh, that. Uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Thank Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't we deserve to know? You, you took an I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials. You, I'm sorry. You policy. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put yes, them up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> sir, everything. Uh, you, I, I, I don't. I don't owe you this comment. I know. I'm you, sure. you, you, you have. You. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh, that's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You you ambush people on the streets, and that's that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine. But don't ask others to respect you for it. If you want to, you you can do. You're free American, like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, "Oh, well, in you're there, Mr. Gergen." I'm sorry. Nobody says policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously, you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here. <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! <laughs> Boy, I hit the hot button. Mr. Gergen, have a wonderful life. Say hi to Molik for me. Canaanite deity, and I'll see you at Eyes Wide Shut, baby. Bye-bye. Get his face. Get his face. Get his face. Get his face. Get in there and get his face. David Gergen. Thank you. you and goodbye. The ritual? That's none of your damn business. That's none of your damn business. Just look at him. That's a face keeping a lot of secrets. He's got some stories to tell. And remember that Washington Times article? It talked about all the other organizations that he resigned from. It mentions the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, all of them groups dedicated to setting up a world government and destroying Americans.